let's hear from Congressman Fred Keller, who represents Susquehanna County. You know, and the benefit is we let to go from all the way in Pittsburgh up through State College, but now we get to hear from Rep or, uh, Congressman Keller and, you know, what he's seeing, what it's meant for his district, and again, all the supply chain opportunities and the growth. So, Congressman Keller, you have the floor, sir. Thank you and good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here. I want to first thank uh, Cabot Oil and Gas and George Stark for organizing the webinar. Um, Cabot has done so much um, great work in Pennsylvania's 12th Congressional District, even prior to what we've seen with COVID. You know, they've been good educational partners uh, with family sustaining jobs. And when you look at Susquehanna County, which is between Scranton and Binghamton, New York, uh, the, the unemployment prior to COVID-19, they knew the people. It wasn't a percentage of it that they could count the people that were unemployed. And we're going to get back to that, but it's going to take some leadership and it's going to take uh, the partnership that Cabot has with our, and, and many of our energy companies have with the communities where they're operating. Uh, so again, we're going to, uh, it's going to be beneficial, I think, to the people participating today to hear more about the important issues uh, like ongoing energy production, agriculture, and supply chains. Uh, again, um, the amazing partnership with Cabot in, in helping uh, prior to the pandemic, but also during this, uh, they've been uh, stocking shelves at food banks, um, the small business funding program, uh, and uh, continuing to produce energy that's going to help get us through this pandemic and, and beyond. Uh, while the natural gas industry has committed, uh, contributed to America's uh, energy independence, uh, enhanced our national security, and provided for affordable energy here at home, um, you know, we've stepped up during these unprecedented times to make sure our communities in northeastern and north central Pennsylvania have what we need and we are thankful to all of you for that. Um, it's been great in northeastern and, and north central Pennsylvania as far as the development and across our commonwealth as Guy mentioned about what's happened with petrochemical plants and so on. Um, you know, so uh, it's important that we have policies uh, not just in Washington DC but here in Pennsylvania. House Bill 1100 by my former colleague, Aaron Coffer, to, to bring industry into Pennsylvania. We need to make sure that we're all working on this. On any given day, and this is just really important how this is in PA-12, on any given day, up to 10% of America's natural gas is produced out of PA-12. Um, and much of that in Bradford and Susquehanna counties. Cabot's been a leader uh, in making sure that ha happens. And again, downstream jobs, and you know, we've talked about that additional infrastructure needs, uh, we need to get that done. We need to make sure the policies allow our gas from Pennsylvania to get to New England so we're not relying on foreign countries to ship gas and into Massachusetts and other parts and sending our wealth and transmitting our wealth to people who do not like us or do not share the values of America or our allies. Uh, so, uh, you know, looking at what we do, uh, there's been tremendous pressure. Uh, you know, with foreign actors trying to um, destabilize the global energy market or manipulate it. Uh, in, the, in February, in the State of the Union address, President Trump noted how the homegrown energy resources have contributed to the comeback, you know, the great American comeback. Um, our energy independence has led to stronger national security. I know Representative Rashenthal has talked about that. Uh, for us and our allies, uh, cheaper energy at home, economic issues, uh, other uh, you know, that we look for energy producing uh, nations. Uh, recent foreign manipulated market fluctuations have meant that America is the victim of its own success. We've been tremendously successful and we need to make sure we get back to where we have that demand. Um, you know, and it's success I've seen with, with, with my own eyes, the outstanding educational opportunities that I mentioned earlier, uh, family sustaining careers, and it's truly revitalized our communities here in Pennsylvania. Uh, that's why I was uh, proud to join a letter with the other members of the House, Ener House Energy Action Team uh, to the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia seeking uh, to end their market manipulation. And also to see, it was great to see President Trump achieve production deal with the OPEC plus nations. But we also know that the natural gas here in Pennsylvania is not going anywhere. As long as we have these resources, when demand increases and the market manipulation ceases, 
our natural gas industry in northeastern and north central Pennsylvania will once again put us on track for another great American comeback. Uh, and the same goes for our farmers. Uh, we know our agriculture community has been uniquely impacted by COVID-19. Despite decreased demand for dairy, the issues we've seen at meat packing plants and financial disruptions, farmers have answered the call to keep our food supply chain open despite the historic conditions. While we all know the best thing we can do to help our farmers is safely reopen our economy as quickly as possible and increase demand, we can also take steps to help their long-term success. Um, uh, Congressman Thompson has been a leader in many of these initiatives. I mean, he's done a lot for, not just for our uh, energy and for, for me personally coming into Congress, he's been a great mentor, uh, but you know, he's also done things for demand and, and dairy things like the Whole Milk for Healthy Kids, the Dairy Pride Act, um, and, and helping on the supply chain there. Uh, new trade agreements have helped provide parity in agriculture, exports, and re reaffirmed our trade relations with Mexico and Canada. It's, I've also been pleased to see President Trump and USDA Secretary Senator Perdue take major steps to help offset losses by farmers and provided needed financial assistance and flexibility during this time. Um, Congress has made sure that our agriculture community can participate in the Paycheck Protection Program and receive economic injury disaster loans if they qualify. Um, you know, supply chains, the work put in by domestic suppliers, you know, like our truckers, our farmers, our energy producing companies, and so many others have been nothing short of heroic, along with our first responders keeping us safe and taking care of us if we become sick. Uh, we're grateful for the work these individuals are doing on a daily basis to ensure Americans have the resources we need to get by. This pandemic has highlighted the need to bring our supply chain back to the United States and reduce our reliance on so many goods, food supplies, and pharmaceuticals coming from China and in and, and that area. And our natural gas industry is gonna help fuel that. I mean, we've done so much already, it's gonna help us bring that manufacturing back to America. Um, so, uh, you know, the fact that China's uh, uh, exacerbated the pandemic is clear that they need to be held accountable and we need to do it and, and protect us by protecting our production of uh, critical goods and bringing it back here to America. Uh, you know, Congressman Rationthaler has done an incredible job of pointing out the need for holding Chinese Communist Party accountable. I know we will continue to use our oversight function to find ways to bring critical supply production back from China and truly put America first. Uh, that's, uh, you know, really happy to be able to participate today. Again, thanks to my colleagues, thanks to, to George Stark, Cabot, Oil and Gas, and all the people participating today. So I will turn it back over to you, George. Thanks for the opportunity to say a few words.